looking for the... Hello, and welcome to a poker openings, this time for the Groudon box, as you can see, large uh, on the side there. Um, unfortunately, this isn't totally fitting in uh, into frame, precisely, I've got to really hold it back. Um, but, you know, it, uh, we'll take a look at it, and then, obviously, we'll open it up and take a look inside. So, as you can see, it comes with a promo Groudon card three packs and a oversized uh, promo Groudon card and on the back we have the out outline of Groudon and uh, and sort of a general description I'm sure you can find a scan of this online if you're really that interested and as it says a special foil promo card and stuff I've basically uh, already mentioned so yeah there's not much more on the box to talk about there's artwork of Groudon of course there is a Kyogre box uh, as well. I only picked this one up because uh, I didn't really want to spend too much. And this is actually quite a cheap uh, collection box thing. They're usually quite expensive. I got this for nine pounds. I'm not sure exactly when that will be in dollars, but you know, I'm sure you can work that out. Or maybe you've already bought it, uh, at which point you probably know where you paid for it. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and pull everything out and then. We'll go uh, step by step. Ooh. Right. So, uh, I won't take this out of this now because we'll have a look at the oversize in a second. But that is the uh, promo Groudon card there. And as you can see, there is XY52. Is it 50 or 30? No, that is 50. Okay. Uh, right. So. I'll grab these three packs and put them to the side for a second as we take a look at the oversized Groudon. He is pretty darn cool. That's some nice artwork there. It's not coming across great um, on the screen, but it's it, it's very nice. Like the detailing in the background, it's kind of either really dark or overly shiny. Uh, unfortunately, on camera, those are his two attacks. If you want to take a look at them there. And as we can see in large letters, there is indeed XY52, Kyogre, uh, the oversized Kyogre and promo Kyogre, probably the 51 or 53, because uh, that's generally how numbers work. Right, okay, well, now I shall switch uh, positions of the camera and we'll open up the three packs. Okay, I am back with uh, the three packs, Mega Gardevoir, Mega Agron, and Kyogre, uh, Primal Kyogre. So I'll go in order of uh, preference for the Pokemon on the front, because really it has no bearing on what cards you get inside anyway. 
Um, I've not opened too many Primal Clashes, although uh, the last video I did put up I was still slightly baffled with the Primal Reversion cards. Uh, confusion has been satiated, I, I kind of understand them a bit more now. Um, so hopefully I won't interrupt the video to zoom in on things and get confused for like half an hour. Okay, so we begin with Solrock. A, a succession of drill brother. We have a nose pass. Oh, very dark nose pass there. That's kind of hard to see exactly the art. It's kind of arty, uh, if that makes sense. We have a very 3D Volbeat. Ah, oh, Spinder. Awesome. I love Spinder. Uh, I've always been curious to see. Obviously, this isn't the case, but. In the game, Spinder have random spot uh, assignments and stuff. I always wondered why they never did that in the in the cards. Um, but obviously, that would involve printing literally thousands of cards. Uh, we have a dew blade. We have a uh, no scorched earth. I was going to say fire circle. Then I don't even know if that's a card. I don't think it is. Oh, we have a Mister Mime. That's pretty cool. I like Mister Mime. He's a cool guy. I use them a lot in Fire Red, I believe. We have a Reverse Hollow Vibrava, or Vibravas, if you want to be particular. And, ooh, hello, we have a Primal Kyogre EX. Well, shit, okay, I'm going to grab the sleeve and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and my god, this is some really cool artwork there. That's, wow, like, the colours and stuff are just, they really work. Because um, of, like, purple and green and blue and stuff, and, wow, that's really kind of taken me by surprise now. I I didn't think that they had the primal cards, or, like, or maybe they did, but a secret rares or something. But, wow, that's really cool. That's... And I'm assuming Tidal Storm is what the uh, Japanese says there. It's in the Japanese set, it would obviously say Primal Storm in English lettering. Or Romaji, maybe. But yeah, that's really cool. Um, that's... Wow, well, the box is worth it just for that, really. That's... I'm, I don't think I'll, I'll top that unless I get a secret rare or something, which... Hey, you never know. I mean, I... Yeah, wow, that's... That's, that's, wow, I'm almost lost to words there. I, uh, I will admit, I do prefer Primal Grodon to Primal Kyogre, but in terms of cards, even getting an EX is, like, a brilliant day for me. So, wow, Primal, Cro Ky uh, Primal Kyogre EX, that's, that's super cool. Right then, on to the second pack. Will we top the first pack? I very much doubt it. We begin with another set of Drillba. Okay. We have a Skitty. A 3D Skitty. Really not keen on that artwork. We have some Rhyhorn. We have a Sveal. Upside down Sveal. Yay! He is really enjoying himself. We have a Lotard. Just... Chilling, apparently. That's cool. We have Vibrava. I swear to God, I've pulled this card in every Primal Clash pack I've got. We have... Ooh, we have a Professor Birch's Observations. That's cool. Professor Birch is a cool guy. I, um... You know, I mean... 
I don't know much about him, admittedly. He's not featured as heavily as like other professors in the games. That we have another Doughblade, another card I'm sure I've pulled in every pack. Oh, we have a reverse hollow bidoof. Yeah. Well, shit, that's that's better than the primal uh, primal Kyogre, I think, if I'm honest. I'm wow, I am blown away. And um, we also have a rare nine tails. Which I think I pulled in the last video I uploaded, actually. Uh, that's cool. So that's two Ninetales cards I have. I am okay with this. And the last pack is a Primal Kyogre. Ah. That still, still feels weird, because I, I have very few EXs, but of them I don't think I have any of the like... Oh, actually no. I say a lie. I pulled the uh, Mega Charizard EX in the Charizard box, which turned out to be a secret rare that I didn't actually mention on the video. So if you've seen that video um, and wondered why I didn't react particularly well to it, it's because I didn't realise it was a secret rare until one of my friends took a look at it and he was like, oh wow, well done, you, you pulled a secret rare and I was like, Tim, what do you want about? And then he showed me and he was right. Anyway, let's begin with Seville. A mudkip. It's a bit of a theme going on of really dark kind of areas for Pokemon to be in. We have a Feebas just staring at some flowers. Straight up just giving them a, a really good hard look. He, he seems uncomfortable in that situation. We have a very, like, a basically drawn Slugma there. Kind of liking that. We have a Bunnelby. That's cool. I quite like one of these. Norse Evolution. We have a Wishcash. That's cool. I really like Wishcash. Just his design and stuff kind of looks... Looks very really sort of anime. I know Pokemon is obviously anime based, but... I don't know, there's just something about him. Oh, we have Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick. I'm sure you can think of jokes about that. I, uh, I, I, I shan't... I shan't ruin anyone's creative flow, but, you know... There's a common section for a reason. We have a Rhydon, that's cool, I really like Rhydon, and I've pulled several Rhyhorn cards, so it's nice to finally be able to complete that evolution line. We have a Reverse Bunnelby, that's cool, and woo, hello, yeah, well I just threw it, no. Uh, we have a Hollow Crawdont, that's really cool, and he's dark, I keep forgetting he's dark. I thought he was pure water, or water psychic? No, water dark makes more sense. That's really cool. That's... wow. I quite like Crawdont. He's uh, he's a pretty cool guy. Never used him. Um, but I think Ash had one in the anime. So, make of that what you will. So, just to recap, we got a Hollow Crawdont. A regular rare nine tails and a motherfucking primal Kyogre X, which is oh that's so cool. It's so it doesn't even show up as well on camera, but like it looks nice even here. But to the eye, it just looks that extra bit special. It's um right. Well, I'll I'll stop gushing over this card now. Uh thank you very much for watching. And I shall be putting up a few and the poke openings in a short while, probably, but I can't promise that. It may be several months. I may never put up a video again. No, I, I, I will. Probably will. Unless something like really horrific happens to me after filming this. Or the world ends, or something like that. Um, but if that doesn't happen, I will be putting up a video soon-ish. So thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.